there, this is Andrea and I want to tell you a little bit about my upcoming class, Three Steps to Healing Your Gut. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this class is because uh, we every day get more and more confirmation of what doctors and healers have already known for thousands of years, which is that the gut is definitely the place where disease begins. And to me, this is extremely, extremely exciting. And why? Because uh, if that's the place where disease starts, then that's the place where it will end. We don't need to look further for the solution. Let's address healing. All healing must begin in the gut as well. So I want you to join me and learn three steps that you need to take in order to successfully jumpstart your gut healing. If you address these three areas there, I promise you, you will start seeing a lot of progress in your health. The first area that we are going to be looking at is removing the foods that are damaging your gut. Which foods are making you ill and how? When do you remove them? And then can you eat them again in a way that's safe that is not going to make you regress and if so when the second area that we're going to be exploring is adding nutrient dense foods that repair and and rebuild your gut so what is that which are these magic foods these nutrient dense foods that are going to help you and how and why they are going to help you then how do you obtain these foods where do you look for them How do you prepare them? And then when do you eat them? Uh, It's not always a good idea to eat them. There is an art to introducing um, nutrient-dense foods as well. The third area that we are going to be exploring is restoring your gut flora. So things that we're going to be talking about here include what are the richest uh, food sources of beneficial bacteria, How do you introduce these beneficial bacteria in your diet? How do you choose a probiotic supplement if you were to take one? And then should you use a prebiotic as well? Uh, Some people should, some people shouldn't. So we're going to be talking about that too. So who is this class for? I really believe this information is going to benefit anyone who is looking to get healthier. And especially if you're being like, trying a lot of different things and you're not making a lot of headway and your lifestyle is really being jeopardized because you are ill. Uh, But very, very especially if you happen to suffer from issues covered in one of these areas. The first one is digestive, uh, of course. And those include things like food intolerances and allergies, acid reflux and GERD, then colitis, celiacs, and Crohn's diseases, and then more general um, issues like bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and uh, uh, things like IBS, IBD, SIBO, that stands for small intestine bacterial overgrowth, etc. The second general area of issues uh, that really benefit from a very integral approach to gut healing are autoimmune issues. Any kind of allergic reactions, which are reactions of the immune system, uh, then Hashimoto's, Graves, or other autoimmune thyroid issues, and also Things like asthma, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, dermatitis, psoriasis, lupus, anything that falls under the umbrella of an autoimmune disease or an autoimmune issue, really, if you address it starting uh, by healing your gut, you are going to make so much progress. And the third general group of issues that benefit from this approach are mental things like anxiety and depression, ADD, HDAD, and other learning disabilities, bipolar disorder, insomnia, eating disorders, substance abuse, etc., etc., etc. 
and very, very especially if these issues are present in combination with digestive and autoimmune issues. And uh, this is very common that there will be just a variety of things happening in the body and the mind at the same time. And when that's the case, then having this very integral and complete approach to healing your gut really, really is a wonderful way to start your healing process. Anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you today. Um, I hope this brings clarity about the content of the class and I thank you for your attention and if this, this resonates with you, then I definitely look forward to seeing you in the class. Thank you and bye-bye.